Hey, what's up guys? My name is Acherno. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm here in some kind of country town in the middle of Germany. Actually, the middle of Germany is probably a lie considering this is very, very close to Strasbourg in France, which is probably more kind of South Germany. But anyway, I'm here. I actually can't even see myself in this. I don't know if I'm in focus. I don't know what the camera is actually filming because the sunlight here is incredible. It's also extremely humid, so I'm just all wet. But we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna talk about some stuff. Today we're going to talk about whether or not you should be using a game engine or whether you should make your own. And in fact, I think that I'm more or less going to talk about, and I'm sorry if, the, if this is shaking, this is because I'm on a hay bale right now. But you guys know that I love to mix it up, so, you know, why not? It's just such a nice day today. You know, it's interesting that I'm here in Kiel in Germany and the weather here is incredibly hectic. Like, I mean, there was like a bit of a thunderstorm. I think they promised a thunderstorm as well, but there was a bit of a thunderstorm in my head. There was a bit of a thunderstorm and now it's kind of gone and it's incredibly humid and I'm just, I'm just all wet, man. I'm just, I'm so wet right now. And I think now there's finally a bit of a cool breeze so I can kind of think and this sun. See, I hate filming outside sometimes in a day like this. I mean, the cloud, the clouds are amazing here. The problem with this is that the sun is like, the sun's like in cloud, out of cloud, in cloud, out of cloud. And I can't keep playing with the exposure because if I keep doing these jump cuts, they're just going to be bright, dark, bright, dark. And there's absolutely no way I'm going to go ahead and color correct every, every single shot. So you guys are just going to have to deal with this. I mean, I could probably make it a little bit less exposed. So if you're thinking of making a game, I think probably one of the best things you can actually do is use a game engine because the act of making a game, especially if you're a solo developer, if you're by yourself, or if you even if you have a small team, it's incredibly difficult to make a game from scratch. In fact, it's just incredibly difficult to make a game. There's nothing, there's nothing really that easy about making a game. It takes like especially depending on the scope of your game, you might be looking at like hundreds of people, like three years of development time. Games are hard. Making games is something that is hard. Even AAA companies screw up games all the time. And it's not just because of their design flaws, it's because of so many technical issues. You can see that some games ship just were broken, right? And then they start patching them and fixing them. Like day one patches, there's all of this stuff that goes in because making games is serious business and it's very, very difficult. So if there's any chance that you can make it easier for yourself by using something like a game engine, then of course you're going to want to take advantage of that. It is very cool, of course, to make a game engine yourself and to basically make a game and be able to say, this is 100% me. Like what you're seeing right there, I made like 100% of that. I didn't just use like, like a, some people think a game engines is almost like a template, right? Where you, we kind of, you're like, I, I would like a first person shooter game, please. And uh, I would like, I would like it to have guns. It's not really like that, but of course people are going to think that. And for a lot of people, it's a matter of pride. It's a matter of being able to say that this is mine. I, I made this. And of course that's completely silly. I mean, you, you can't like, even if it is prideful for you to be able to do that, you have to think about it logically. You have to think, you have, it's a business decision, right? It's a business decision. It's not a personal decision for you to be like, as a matter of pride, I think I would like to please make this all myself, even though it's going to take 20 times as long. You can't do that. You're not gonna be successful if you start making decisions based on personal emotions or feelings. So swallowing your pride and picking up a game engine is probably for 95% of you the right thing to do. Now, I know that a lot of people on this channel specifically are interested in making their own game engines because well, I, I mean, I, I'm interested in making my own game engines. For those of you who don't know, I do work on a game engine team at Electronic Arts, so I do have quite a lot of experience making game engines. And even before I was employed there, before I even had a software engineering job at all, I was only interested basically in making game engines. But that's because I don't want to make games. Games are not... I like games. I like the idea of making games. I like the technology behind games. But what really excites me is that core technology, right? It's, it's actually the core technology of a video game because I don't really play that many games in my spare time. So when I see a game, I don't start immediately thinking like, oh, that's like some cool design decisions and oh, that's some cool gameplay code. I can appreciate 
well put together games and I do enjoy them. However, for me, it's not a matter of like, I would love to make a game. Like I, I'm much more interested in the technology behind that. And the reason I'm telling you guys that is because honestly, I think that as a solo or a small team of developers, the only reason you should make a game engine is either if your game is incredibly small or your game is incredibly focused on a specific area that you believe from a business point of view, from, a, from an actual like technical point of view, Unity or Unreal or whatever other engine you want to use, Game Maker, whatever, cannot actually deliver the right technology to you. In a lot of cases that is of course false because those game engines are specifically designed in mind to be kind of generalist game making machines that are made to suit a wide variety of genres and a wide variety of game requirements. But of course if you have some kind of niche that is incredibly specific making your own game engine might be justifiable. But the idea is a game engine, like licensing costs aside, I don't know why people are concerned about like Unreal's 5% royalty or Unity's like I don't know, Unity's like per month now anyway. I don't even know what Unity's licensing deals are nowadays, to be honest. But I see people arguing so much about like Unreal's 5% royalties, which I think only apply if you make above $100,000 or something. I'm completely just talking from memory. I'm probably completely wrong about everything. I can just picture people disliking this video. But the fact of the matter is like, I don't know why so many people are concerned with 5% royalties for a game that they haven't made yet. And only if you make over a hundred grand. Are you seriously thinking that, yeah, I, I'm I'm at a I'm at a point where you know this game's gonna make millions of dollars and I need to be I need to be aware of five percent royalties. No, you don't. Like just make your game, dude. Make your game. It's not even it, it might seem harsh, but success is incredibly rare, right? And even if you are successful with a game, five percent is such a negligible amount. Five percent, picture it this way. You've hired a team of hundreds of developers who for several years have worked on the core technology for your game. And in exchange, you've agreed to give them 5% of the money your game makes after a certain threshold. That is an absolute steal because I can tell you right now, no matter how many years you're gonna be working on your game engine, you're never gonna get up to Unreal's point and certainly not for the cost that they're offering their technology to you for. So purely as a business kind of tactical decision, I think it's a complete mistake, a complete mistake to like disregard game engines based on cost or anything like that. Like, I mean, I think you need to picture it in terms of development time. Now, for those of you who are dead set on making your own game engines because you think that you would rather make a game engine than a game, making games is very important if you want to make a game engine because your game engine is there to make games. If you don't know how to make games, well, how on earth are you going to make a tool set for that? How on earth are you going to be able to design tools that people can use to make games if you don't know how they're going to be making the games? Like you need to actually know how to make games. And a really good way of finding that out is by using Unity or Unreal. And it might seem like I, I've met people who have 100% been like, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have also like this, who have been like, no, no, no I, I don't want to touch Unity or Unreal. I'm too, I, I don't want to, I don't want to become dirty with all that. Like, I, I don't know what, man, some, some people, am I right? I don't want to become dirty with all that kind of filth. I just, I'm a purist. I like my own technology. I'm never going to touch anything. That's really, really stupid. Picture it this way. You're a covert agent and you're, you want to sneak behind enemy lines to see what kind of technology they've got so that you can steal it for yourself. That is exactly what using another game engine is like, even if you're just focused on making game engines. You need to take a look at Unity's or Unreal's material system. You need to see how they set up shaders. You need to see how, how their sprite animation system works, right? So that you can get ideas for how you should, first of all, design yours, and B, if you think there are improvements that you should make to your own technology. You need to be able to do that. You need to do some research into what's actually out there to see what you can do so that you can improve on it. If you never go out there, if you never use game engines like Unity or Unreal, but you just focus on your own technology, that's great on one hand, but on another hand, you're, you're not going to be able to make something good because you you need to see what's out there. So, I mean, it, yeah, it completely baffles me when people start saying that uh, I don't want to use that technology anymore, I don't want to use that. You're basically saying no to free knowledge right? And knowledge is exactly what you're going to need if you want to make your own game engine or make your own anything really. So if you are focused on making game engines, definitely get out there. Go ahead and open Unity right now. So you can download Unity or Unreal. They're both free for personal use, right? You can download that and you can check out all of their technology. Make a game with it right now and see what it's like to make a game in Unity. And even just by using Unity, like if you're designing a material system for your own game engine, looking at the way Unity's works, even, you don't need the source code, right? Just look 
at how their editor works, look at how they chain together, like the select a shader, you have a material, you have a bunch of like material inputs, whether they be textures or constant values or even game variables, that's how their material system comes together. Based on what I just said, based on what I just told you, an extremely high level overview of how Unity's material system works, right? Or how almost any game engine's material system works, really. But anyway, based on what I've just told you, you can actually go out and design a material system now, right? You know exactly what it is. It's a shader and it's a bunch of uniform values. It's as simple as that, right? And if you've never looked at Unity, you might not even have thought that. You might be rocking some really, really weird, unconventional, awkward, hard to use material system that you've thought up of because you haven't, you just don't know better and you haven't been through decades of game industry experience. So yeah, hopefully that kind of clears it up for you. For those of you who want to make games, 100% use a game engine. For those of you who want to make engines, 100% use a game engine. I'm not being paid by Unity or Unreal or any other game engine. I'm not even telling you which one I like or which one I don't like. I don't care. It doesn't even matter what engine you use. Unity and Unreal are the biggest ones. I do have my different preferences between game engines, which I might talk about in another video, but the point is I don't even care what game engine you use. Just go out and use a game engine because it's going to benefit you even if you still decide to make your own, 100% going to benefit you. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to get off this hay bale because it's getting a bit warm. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of these vlogs and if you want to see more in the future. I think this is like my fifth one. I'm going to be traveling around the area a bit. I'm going to the Czech Republic like tomorrow. So there'll be plenty of cool content. I'm going to try and do some vlogs over there as well. I post a lot of the photos I take to Instagram. My name is The Cherno on Instagram. So definitely go and follow me there. I also tend to post a lot of the stuff that I just do on a daily basis as an Instagram story. So cool stuff there. Check it out. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.